If you've ever struggled to comprehend a table of data in front of you, it's actually not your fault. It's your brain's. You see, because of how we're wired, your brain actually decides within the first 10 seconds whether it's actually going to understand what it's looking at. I'm Enrique Ruiz from Maven Analytics, and in this video, I'm going to be talking about why we visualize data. All right, let's kick things off here. Why visualize data? Seriously, why should we take the time to plot data on a chart? Well, because data visualization allows you to bring your data to life. The truth is that the human brain isn't built to interpret raw data. It takes time and effort to understand numbers on a page, which is why we need clear patterns and visual cues to help us quickly make sense of complex information. It really is how our brain works. Now, if you've taken Maven to Thinking Like an Analyst course, then this will start to sound and look familiar, but bear with me. This is the prefrontal cortex, which is the part of our brain that is responsible for cognitive functioning and problem solving. So in other words, it helps us make sense of non-visual information like raw data, which naturally means that it's slow and conscious. But the visual cortex, on the other hand, is responsible for visual perception and understanding. So this is a part of your brain that makes sense of things like colors, patterns, shapes, and sizes. And it does so instantaneously and subconsciously. And that's all very interesting, but you may be wondering why I'm talking about our brain all of a sudden. Well, because data visualization puts both our prefrontal and visual cortex to work, combining the power of cognition and perception. Next, let's do a quick test so I can show you just how powerful this is. Now that I've hyped up the power of data visualization, it's time to put my money where my mouth is with a little test. In a few moments, I'm going to show you some data on the screen with a 10 second timer. And at the end of those 10 seconds, I want you to pause the video and tell me what you were able to learn from the data. Ready? Go. If you're enjoying this video, you'll be glad to know that it's part of my full 10 hour advanced Excel dashboard design course at Maven Analytics. So if you want hands on practice and the full length lessons, make sure to check out the link in the description. Time's up. How'd you do? You may have noticed that we're looking at four separate products and their sales across 12 consecutive months. And if you really concentrated, then you may have noticed some patterns and trends here or there. Overall though, I think you'll agree that 10 seconds really isn't enough time to fully understand this data. Which makes sense because as you now know, our brain isn't built to interpret raw data. But what if we visualize it? So let's do that. I'm going to give you another 10 seconds and let's see if we can understand the data better this time. Ready? Go. All right, how was it now? Much easier, right? In 10 seconds, not only are we able to tell that we're looking at sales for four different products, but we can identify very clear patterns and trends in each one, which is incredible. And it really goes to show just how effective data visualization can be. Now, in case you were curious, this is actually our own variation of Anscombe's Quartet, where even though each product has the same exact sales average, believe it or not, they all tell a very different visual story. So what can we learn from all this? Well, A, that data visualization really does allow us to bring data to life, and B, that the 10 second rule is a great benchmark to check if we are communicating something effectively with data. If you're looking for more ways to level up your data skills, check out our self-paced courses and guided projects at Maven Analytics and create your own personalized learning plan for free. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more data content just like this. I'll see you in the next one.